I'm Erin, and this is my wonderful husband, Phil. In 2020, we removed our three kids from their in-person schools and busy modeling careers so that we could travel the world and experience more of the things that really matter. Our recent tour of New England led us to coastal Maine, where we had to get our hands on some tasty local lobster. But there was no way we were going to just order from a menu. So we chartered a boat and a licensed lobster fisherman to take us out in search of our next meal. Okay, we made it all the way here to the marina. Now we just have to find our fisherman guy. We gotta find him, the boat, and the lobsters. I wonder how many we're gonna catch. Hopefully at least four. We still have to work out where we're gonna have our lobsters cooked up, but uh, at the very least, our hotel, the South Main, can cook it up for us at the Tiller restaurant. You found the lobster traps? Now you just have to find the lobster. We met up with Captain Phil with Brenton's Charters and he explained the very complex rules to lobstering. You cannot fish past the three mile boundary line. Otherwise known as bugging, because the lobsters look like little critters crawling on the ocean floor. If you notice like that boat's got a lobster buoy on it, like, so while you're out pulling your traps, they wanna know that you're not pulling somebody else's traps. And of course, Colt had a million questions for him. Lobsters have like the ripper claw and the crusher claw, right? Yep, exactly. How long do we wait between each lobster trap to pull it up? Usually three to four days. One thing I've always wanted to see my whole life was a blue lobster. Me too. Maybe we'll get one today. You never know. I love that we're on the water again. Favorite place in the whole world. And even though my favorite water is almost always the Caribbean, the tropical turquoise kind of waters, I actually love it here because the water is so amazingly clean. They told us that there's virtually no pollution out here, and I mean, it just really shows. It's still beautiful sand, it's beautiful water. And perfect for bugging. The only thing cooler than pulling up bug traps is the drool-worthy scenery along the way, and Captain Phil took us on the perfect detour. Just a few minutes north is the very charming town of Kennebunkport, which is home to the Bush family compound. It's called Walker's Point. You can't get past the Secret Service checkpoint on land, but Captain Phil was able to position our boat just meters from shore without getting any of us shot or arrested. Yeah. Pretty neat spot. Yeah, it's gorgeous. I think we could spend an entire summer here, and that must be why people do. I could totally spend a summer here. So much, like, nostalgic, majestic energy here. We're turning around, heading back out of the marina here, and we're gonna head back out into open water and hit his four traps. See if we've got some lobsters. Okay, we're looking for neon green with the red dragon. Right there, that's neon green with the red dragon. Once we find Captain Phil's buoys, we need to pull up the traps and see if there are any right, so critters the in there. Really sharp, and then Colt's gonna be the first one to try. So while you like scoop it and then like look under, nice and slow. Buoy, your license number has to be on the buoy. <laughs> See one? Oh, there's a lot in there. <gasps> there's one in there! You know, like the ones that are way too small. Kind of small. And then, so, how we measure them, the back of the, this is the body of the carapace? Right, so, right to the eye. And the Marine Patrol likes to really push the tail down. So you want to push the tail down and then see how it's way over. So if it landed here, it would be legal, but it's way too small. And then, yeah, so watch them swim away because they'll swim back. Yeah, they do this, don't they? And like swim backwards? Yep. Is he dead? <laughs> he's not swimming. Not swimming yet. He's cold, probably. No, he's fine. He's, oh, there he goes. Falling. There he goes. <laughs> the TMR or something. Big lobster bolts. You ready for your turn? Yep. Let's go do it. Walk up this way. Alright, get it under. At some point, Way to go. Come on, big lobster. Oh, it's Yeah, see? Woo! I got a good one. So that one legal or not? Yeah, it's legal. Yes. Okay. So that one's legal. Woohoo! Oh, he looks delicious. So, you want to be careful that you don't rip their claw off. So you let let the pressure go and then turn it 180. Perfect. And let go and then 180. Yep. Perfect. Perfect. Yeah. Bye, buddy. Oh, 
Good job. Yeah, this is the tiny one. Oh, we got Another one. Oh, see, it's always lucky. There's two. Yay. All right, bring him back. Exactly, yeah. Right in the eye socket. Oh, perfect. It's good. It's good. Yeah, that one's good too. Here you go. Yeah, he's pretty small. Probably a little small. Nice. Good nice. job. Good work, guys. Not a bad catch. How many did we get, babe? We caught five. We threw two back because they were a little bit too small. The last one was pretty borderline, but we decided to toss it back. So we've got three lobsters. I think it's a great catch for the day, and now we're gonna head back. It's gonna be a bumpy ride, but we're gonna head on in, and then we're gonna get to the restaurant and get these things cooked up. Woohoo! Shirley's. Shirley's. Thank you. <laughs> Brooklyn, time to get up. No, babe. What? No, wait, though. Okay, you can keep sleeping. Thank you. Yeah. Nice to meet you we're gonna go get these lobsters the cooked up, but before we do, please show us some support by subscribing, liking, and hitting that notification bell so you can see all of our other adventures and some more episodes from this trip in Maine. Oh. Thank you, very nice to meet you, Brooklyn. Even though we only had a 20 minute drive back to the resort, it could be up to an hour before these bugs hit the boiling water. So the first thing we needed to do was get them on ice. Since the marina didn't have any options, we sped to the nearest gas station, bought a cooler, added the lobster in the cubes, and hit the road to get back in time for a killer lunch. But once we were underway, not every passenger not seemed me. willing to go peacefully. They just stopped. They were like messing around, pounding. No. No, no, no. They're like wrestling in there. The Tiller restaurant at our resort, Cliff House, Maine, is going to cook these up for us. Uh, we haven't decided which dishes we're going to do quite yet, but we'll figure it out soon. No, Mom cares. We do have fresh lobster. I see those lobsters. I know it's got to be lobster. Ooh. Are they lobster? Well, you brave. Leave them yeah. in there, bud. Leave them in there. Like you braver than me. Yeah. Thank you. And I've already spoken with our restaurant, so you have a deal. Oh, wonderful. Awesome. Thank you. Okay, thanks. My pleasure. We're going down to the Tiller restaurant. You know that I'm a keep it cool. Will you I feel like breaking rules? Only yeah. Now with no parachute. You know I'm dreaming about it. Being around with that. Thank you. It's a good way to start off a little lobster lunch. Tastes like summer in Maine. It is weapon. And mommy doesn't get one. Ooh, I don't because I'm having a lobster roll and you haven't been to Maine until you've had a lobster roll. So I And you haven't had a lobster roll until you've been to Maine. That's right. I am about to arrive. No, that's not how that goes. <laughs> there you go. You want me to show you? Because when it comes to crustaceans, twisty is your friend, okay? Yes! I have arrived. Mmm! So good. Oh my gosh, all that lobster flavor, but it's like the butter on this roll. In the roll, on the roll, and it's like the lightest amount of mayo. You can hardly tell there's mayonnaise in it at all. I actually don't believe there is. Yeah? What do you think, baby? Are we okay? <laughs> okay, since they're not eating their lobster, I'm gonna eat most of it. 
so I'm probably going to eat about $150 worth of lobster right now. How beautiful the shade of red is. Did you find the brain? No. I found the inside guts. Inside you the don't know where the brain is? And the hut. Heart. So, so it's in the hut. Alright, so it's just like a human body. So you got your eyes right here, and then the brain connects the eyes, so it's red right underneath. And then throughout the lobster and on the bottom, the heart beats right there. But oh, uh, is the brain still in there? Yeah. Yeah, <laughs> the brain's still in there. <laughs> There, that's it? That's the brain? That's the brain, that controls the whole entire thing. <laughs> <laughs> I love like that she's brain. so curious. Yeah. It doesn't look like a brain. <laughs> Hold what? on, anymore. not once you boil it. Your brain yeah. doesn't look like that yeah. when you boil it either. <laughs> Thank you so much for that little education demonstration. <laughs> Bye. We're so grateful our kids get to have these hands-on experiences. <laughs> they have more appreciation for where food comes from when they understand the process and hard work of catching it yourself. Every day is an opportunity to learn when life is your classroom. Follow us for more hands-on adventures. Ready? Split. Colt, just hold both of them. Colt, hold both of them and you get in the picture. Two years ago, we decided it was time for my ad agency to abandon the in-person five-day work week. So we 86 our office and work hours, allowing our own family of five to start traveling almost constantly. We now work, school, and explore in a new place every week. From our own mountain and beach homes to exotic villas, resorts, and yachts around the world. As we experience and support diverse cultures, we hope to inspire more families to design a life of freedom and adventure. Because there's a new American dream. It's one that's void of templated expectations, templated career paths, templated education, templated families, templated homes, and templated lives. Freedom's no longer American tagline. It's just the new global way of life. Every day that you spend doing something that doesn't fulfill you to your core, you're living your life on pause. You're deferring genuine family time with no guarantee that there will be a tomorrow or a someday. Some people follow that mentality their entire lives. We've chosen to never live that way again. We appreciate you following our journey. The more our channel grows, the more time we can spend traveling to more locations, contributing to these cultures, highlighting local businesses, and sharing inspiring stories from these communities. So please consider liking, commenting, and subscribing so that you can stick with us for the long haul.